Hello, hello everybody, it's Eric Freeze, and today I'm going to be showing you this Lasco, I believe 3723. This is a 1999 through uh, 2000 model. Um, this one is a somewhat of, an, of, of a childhood fan. I don't think it's nearly as childhood as the 3733 I showed you. Um, and I just want to get this out of the way first. This is a premium, not a wetter shield. The original knob and handle on this fan were missing when I got it, and they've been gone for as long as I could remember. And I happened to have a wetter shield with, with a dead motor, so I was able to pull the parts off of it and disregard my cap attacking a scratching post right now. But, yeah. But it has the wetter shield knob on it. But the frame and everything else on it is original. The grills, they should probably need clean. When I got this fan, I literally just did, I took it apart. I vacuumed everything. I vacuumed cleaned the oil, the motor and stuff. This is the full-size Marco motor. Something that's a bit odd about this is this one has these skinny motor braces, not the thick ones. So I don't really know what Lasco is doing. I mean, this is probably the first version to actually use these skinny motor braces, but... Yeah, so transition model. Anyone know anything about this? I don't know. I've never seen one with the full size motor that uses these. Um, the motor on this fan was absolutely plugged. It was mostly just surface stuff, nothing, nothing major. But yeah. And I didn't put the wire in the right way because this right here, this was behind the ribbon cable. Huh, I wonder if someone was in here. But yeah, that's a little oddity is that it has that type of um, motor braces, it's not the thick ones, which is odd because the 3733 I showed you before, I had the recalled PSC motor and it had the thick braces still. So I really don't know what that was all about. Because um, the, the thin braces, they hold the motor just fine. Here's the blade set. This one has a super pitch in the 3733 I showed earlier. Um, this thing has some pretty high RPMs. This is my favorite combination of fan, by the way, um, just of any box fan. The Marco motor with the pebble blade set on it. These move a ton of air. These are crazy powerful and crazy effective. The Ultra Force I have, which I've yet to make a video of because it needs to be, the whole cabinet on that fan needs to be repainted at some point in time. That thing is a monster and this fan is also a monster this thing moves more air than that 3733 so the motor runs a lot fast a lot faster but just one of my favorite fans i used this one in my bedroom um throughout the winter time back in december is when i got this fan cleaned up and i used that fan from december until just recently so um uh, we'll, we'll get into this. We'll, we'll run it. Um, oh, the story behind this is my one of my one of my friends owned this fan, and she paid two dollars for this at a garage sale. Actually, when I got it, the sticker was still on the top, but in the process of me cleaning the case, it kind of came off. But yeah, and the uh, what else? I don't really remember. She would use it in the window. That was in the kitchen, the kitchen dining room area, blowing air in in the summertime. She had a big Maytag window air conditioner, which I made a video of a while back, but she used this instead most of the time, and then occasionally in the fall, this would be in the upstairs bedroom window. Uh, this was her favorite fan, too, by the way, because this one was the quietest and it moved the most air. And yeah, I remember. The knob on the top of this was also really screwed up because it was missing a knob. She would use pliers to adjust the speed on it. So, yeah. Here's low speed. This fan's actually really quiet. Um, most of the time when I was using this fan, I ran it on medium speed at night. And I, um, during the winter time, I kind of need good bedroom circulation. I have a noisy ceiling fan installed right now, so I don't really use it all too much. So typically, this was my main source of air circulation in the bedroom. 
I would use this and cycle between this and the A137. Here's medium speed. I love the sounds of these fans on medium and high speed. This does not have that whistling noise that the 3733 I showed earlier had and the my 2000 wind machine. I think that only happens with this blade set on a recalled motor, but I think this blade set here is a bit more of a steeper pitch. Um, I believe this is the same type of blade set Air King used on Airbox fans too. Um, they started using this blade set around around 2009 for, for a while Air King they were using the um, they were using the big uh, D-Wing blade set so I'm going to be honest this, this blade set I feel like moves more air here's high They're a bit rough. I think this thing could use the oil pretty soon, but no, it's not that bad. Okay, That's a little better than I thought. Um, that's gonna pretty much conclude this video. Let's go. The Rig Seven Twenty Three Premium with the weather shield handle. Yeah, cool little box fan. Thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.